I'm Jamie Brads with Spec Rescue International. Today on the Spec Show, we're going to go over Rescue Chain. Today I have a wide variety of chain that we're going to discuss that is readily available within the fire service. I'd like to start down here at the gold chain. This is typically a grade 70 chain referred to as a transport chain or tie down chain. The working load limits on these types of chain are in about the 5400 pound category. This chain is only designed for tying back or marrying loads. It is very important to understand the working load limit of each chain and what they are designed for. For example, the working load limit on a grade 70 chain, as I said before, is around 5,400 pounds. That is not its breaking strength, but that is the design load for it. We only want to use this grade 70 chain in a tie back or hold down type of scenario. The middle chain is black with red hooks. This is a grade 80 chain. Grade 80 is designed for uh, overhead lifting or securing of uh, heavy loads in a vertical, which is a straight on pull or in a basket configuration. All chains that we use for overhead lifting should be inspected and tagged. The tag will indicate to you the size of the chain and the grade of the chain and its working load limit. This chain is a 7,100 pound working load limit. The blue chain, the third chain in the, the sequence here is a grade 120. There is a grade 100 that is between the 80 and 120, which is also typically a black chain. This grade 120 is for the most part always going to be blue and their links are square. If you look at this link compared to some of the other links, this is a square link. Most other chain are round links. Again, if we're going to use this for securing a load over the head or lifting, we're going to make sure it is tagged. Again, this one will indicate the size of the chain and what its working load limit is. Working load limit on this chain is 10,600 pounds in a vertical. Again, we've talked about the differences in appearance of the chain, but really what does that mean? So I wanna talk really quickly about grade of chain. So back to the gold chain, I said it was a grade 70. If you look very closely at your chain when you're doing your inspection process, you may be able to see a very uh, small engraving uh, on or stamp on each link or each, every other link. This one says G7, so it's telling you that it's a grade 7, 70 chain. Um, this one has the same stamp on it, but it says L8 right here. So it's telling you that it's a grade 80 chain. Not all chain has it stamped, but it will have it somewhere on the hook device or somewhere on the chain what grade it is. Also, looking at the gold chain versus the black chain, you can see that the diameter is different. Where this one was tagged, it said it was a 3 8 chain. This is only a 5 16 chain, so it is a smaller. So the, this chain is not rated at the same weight capacity in the same family, even though the grades are different. Describing the grade of a chain, basically the lower the number, the weaker the chain. It's not anything to do with diameter, it has a lot more to do with the hardness of the chain. For example, we talked about the, the grade 70 being only for tie back purposes, because again, it is a softer chain. As the chains go up, grade 80 and grade 100, which again would be probably another black chain, these are really good for rescue use. They have a little bit of give to them, a little flexibility, where the grade 120 is probably the most brittle chain. Although, by looking at the tag, it is absolutely the strongest chain. It is best used when you are lifting or holding something. If you are going to be in a situation where you are using a chain to pull with, for example, with a winch, a grade 80 or grade 100 may be a better choice because the brittleness of the chain does not come into play. Towing professionals, uh, a lot of them would say they love to lift with 120, but they'd rather pull with 100. Also, it's very important to understand how the hooks work. These are all grab hook designs. However, the heavier duty the chain gets, the more intricate the grab hook gets. 
for example, this grade 70 has a hook that is just designed to, for the chain to drop into. And if you look at the, where the links pull when the chain is loaded, it pulls straight down on the sides of the link versus a specialty hook where it kind of gives more angle out and it locks each link in to keep it from turning in. So it creates more of an angle as, a pull, as opposed to a straight down pull. So it's distributing the load within the link uh, much more efficiently. Although chain is very versatile, there's two major problems with chain. First off, weight. The weight to get it to and from whatever it is that you wanna use it for. And secondly, because it is made out of steel, we, we think it is very, very durable. Here's a couple of things I wanna point out to you that you need to look at when you're inspecting chain. Again, this is a very old chain. This was a grade uh, 70 chain, I believe. We've lost all the tags, so we don't use it, but for demonstration purposes. First things first, the hook interface. If you look, you see that this link is twisted and oblonged out. Secondly, if you come down the chain, you're inspecting the chain, you're looking for gouges. Gouges in the chain make this chain much weaker than it was uh, originally designed for. These types of gouges would put this chain out of service. Also, if you look at this, this has been an, a link added to this chain. We do not know the rating of this, so this would again put this chain out of service. In summary, this is just scratching the surface on the use of rescue chain. I believe it's one of the most versatile attachments that we can use. Again, it is kind of heavy to use and we do not inspect it the way we should. However, uh, there's a lot more to learn about it. For more information about chain and this type of rigging, go to specrescue.com. I'm Jamie Brads with Spec Rescue International.